Hello folks, welcome back. Welcome to part two of support and resistance. Uh, today we are going to talk about um, how to identify direction using support and resistance. In this video, I want you to understand this. When I say higher time frame, I mean monthly, weekly, and daily. And when I say one time frame lower, I mean any time frame or one time frame lower compared to your higher time frame in relation to your higher time frame. For example, if you choose monthly time frame, then you must use weekly time frame to confirm direction. If you use weekly time frame, you must use daily time frame to confirm direction. If you use daily time frame, you must use 4 hour time frame to confirm direction. And then, 4 hour time frame is for entries. 4 hour support and resistance are for entries. So you have to understand that. And once you are on 4 hour time frame, you can easily switch to 30 minute or 5 minute for entry. Hope you understand that so i will give you an example before you go into the details let's say first of all or uh, on the first bull on the first bull you have your chart here uh make sure uh you use use this area where you see free forever for chat and economic calendar is here if you are going to trade, make sure you are, you know what's going on around the world. Make sure you know what's going on on your economic calendar. So you can click here, first of all, and then do what? You come here to screen because we'll be using the first board. Very often, you come here to screening and then you do what? Here is your, your news news events tomorrow this week or next week maybe this week you click here and you do what you see your calendar here or you can also click here on the chart here and then create what create your account here on the first board and here you can meet other traders and you you do what? You share ideas about the market you are interested in. Here, chart. There is a chart. There is a chart room. And there is what? There is economic calendar. You can use that on the first board. So, here, I will click on chart. And then, I will show you what I mean. I will show you what I mean. So here is your pair. Here is your pair. Assume that uh, assume that uh, I'm on gold and I want to to check the direction of gold where market is heading to. So I can do what? Let's assume that I have chosen weekly as my direction. I am going to trade weekly. I'm going to trade weekly, for example. I'm going to trade weekly direction. So where is support and resistance here? Assuming we are here. This is sell by sell by support level. Assume that price is here. Assume that I'm going to trade this candle in this zone where you see this rejection. So market was dropping down and traded on this support level after this support level market broke the zone with a candlestick body and then a new candlestick body formed if you if, if you do candlestick math you know that this is a rejection and then a new candle comes here i'm focusing on this one that touched and created a perfect rejection on this zone so if you want to confirm that weekly candle 
I mean weekly time frame is bullish. You must switch to daily time frame. So the weekly candle rejected weekly support. Weekly candle rejected weekly support. What you do? You bring your vertical line here. You bring your vertical line here. You inside this candle, and then you do what? You switch to daily time frame. I have said one time frame lower. One time frame lower. You have your higher time frame here. And then you do what? You have your time frame here. I have chosen weekly as my higher time frame. Now, in order to identify direction, I will choose to I will choose daily time frame. One time frame lower from weekly to daily. Then after putting vertical line here, what I'm do, what I'm going to do, I will switch to daily time frame. So when I when I switch to daily time frame. I will see if market has broken buy sell or sell buy. I want to understand that is the support we use and the resistance when you are trying to do it. When you're trying to identify the direction, I repeat again. After switching time frame, you check whether market has broken a buy, a buy sell or sell buy. So I will choose daily. I will choose daily. So look at it here. I will I have chosen the daily time frame. Now after daily time frame, this is a vertical line. Then the candle rejected weekly rejected the week weekly candle rejected weekly support. And then on the daily time frame, market has broken what? Market has broken buy sell buy sell resistance level on daily time frame. I mean here this area. This area market has broken by and sell on on daily time frame. This is a buy sell candle, buy sell resistance level. It was broken here. So after this candle broke the zone with a body, make sure you use what? Make sure you use close price, or if 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 necessary, use line chart to see that we don't count weeks. This is not a break when you are identifying direction based on the support. So, daily candle has broken, has broken what? Has broken buy, sell, resistance, level. So, if we see that, we confirm that the weekly time frame is bullish. In order to confirm a direction, we choose one time frame lower. So, if you are on weekly, we choose daily to confirm a direction so this is what this is a break of structure so weekly is bullish weekly is bullish now so you have rejection here this is rejection assume that this is a weekly weekly resistance assume that this is a weekly resistance here so the candle, weekly candle, rejected the weekly resistance. So in order to confirm direction, you will put vertical line in this candle. You put vertical line in this candle. And then you switch to weekly, you switch to daily time frame, one time frame lower. That means if I have a vertical line here, I will check after this rejection, after this rejection, Maybe on maybe on 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 a, on a daily it will look like this maybe price went higher in this level then went down so it it has broken what it has broken assume that it has broken sell by sell by support level here so if I see that then I will confirm that weekly is bullish weekly is bullish then after that the after direction is confirmed market must sell until it reaches another weekly support or resistance depending on direction depending on direction so you keep selling you keep looking for sell here until you reach here so that means if price broke the zone here 
it must keep sharing keep sharing until we reach the zone the weekly zone the weekly zone hope you understand any movement can be formed if it can do something like this and then come back to test this test this but at the end we must reach this zone we must reach this zone hope you understand hope you understand so here we are bullish we are bullish here market is bullish because it has broken what it has broken the daily zone the daily zone so weekly is bullish so after after you identify direction what you do you come back to higher time frame to see the next zone you come again to weekly time frame to check the next resistance you have ahead the next resistance you have ahead the next resistance you have ahead so we have confirmed that weekly is bullish here now where is where, where is the target your eyes should be on this area the next the next resistance you have ahead of you is here the next resistance you have ahead of you is here that means market must buy until we reach here market must buy until if if it breaks this zone it will go to another zone which is here another another what another resistance buy sell resistance buy sell resistance every zone that will be broken the high chance is that it's going to be tested for example here we have we have zones for example this recent one this recent one bye 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 resistance level as you can see it was rejected here it was rejected here that means this is this zone is not fresh because it was used it is not fresh but if it is broken if it is broken it will become fresh if it is broken it will become fresh that's why that's why you see this candle here this candle broke this zone then the zone becomes fresh and your candle comes this one traded in this zone and then rejected traded in this zone and then rejected hope you can see that it traded in this zone and then rejected i'm talking about this candle it traded in this jo this zone and then rejected you can see that you can see that here it was it was broken and it tested then it was unfresh but once this candle breaks a new candle comes back to test the zone and then press was there. so for example if you study manipulation and whatever in this zone that's where you see the true pattern you need the true pattern you need but this time we are not talking about manipulation we are talking about what we are talking about support and resistance however if you know manipulation you can use it as a way of marking true zones where you expect what reaction Hope you can say that so this so if, if after confirming that price is bullish my target cannot be this zone because this zone is unfresh instead if it is broken i will be happy because market come back to test it i will be buying again to to hit the next zone the next zone to target the next zone so after identify direction on lower time frame one time frame lower after you confirm direction then you you come back to her time frame to mark the next resistance or to mark the next support based on direction if you are bearish you will mark the next support if you are bullish you will mark the next resistance so you have to ask yourself after identifying direction on the daily time frame on the daily time frame after identifying direction on daily time frame then you know price is bullish only you know weekly is bullish then your question must be this if weekly is bullish so where is the next resistance where is the next target so to, to see that you do what you go back to your higher time frame for example if you have chosen for example monthly as your time frame and weekly as a time frame for confirming direction 
and you confirm that monthly is bullish then you switch to monthly time frame to mark the next monthly resistance or the next monthly support so here i have chosen an example only weekly so i have confirmed that weekly is bullish because they had broken by sale resistance level then what i do i have confirmed direction only weekly then my question is this where is the next target so to see the next target i will do what i will change to uh, my higher time frame again to see the next what the next resistance i have ahead the next resistance i have ahead why because if direction is confirmed market mass leave this zone and go to another zone if you are bearish if you are bullish for example here if you are bullish for example if if a new candle kind of forms here and reject it reject this zone and i confirm that the daily has broken structure then what i do i i must go to higher time frame again to see the next resistance i have ahead because the market is gonna go higher if i see a closest resistance here only on 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 weekly time frame then i will be buying knowing that market can make a reversal here we will reach this area no matter what so hope you truly understand what i mean hope you truly understand what i mean so here we must buy until we come here we must buy until we come here if a zone is broken we expect a retest then we keep going higher so we keep going higher we keep going higher hope you understand so after that after direction then daily you are you are one time frame lower will be used as what will you use will be used as your roadblock market will be creating pullback on those time frame so this is weekly zone is broken i mean daily zone is broken so here your eyes your eyes must be on this level this is only being created this daily daily time frame sell buy so it is tested market will go higher to look for another resistance on the daily then comes come, comes back down it will go higher to look another resistance on the daily here look at how market is creating pullbacks using the daily time frame using the daily time frame as you can see daily time frame look at here daily time frame Look at here. Daily time frame. It comes back to daily. It goes back to daily. Let me show you. Let me use another color. Maybe I can use maybe red red color. Look at here. We have this zone. Cross this zone here. This this is an fresh because it was a test by this candle. However, this is still fresh. Sell 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 resistance level. You can see it rejected. Then it went down again to test what? To test daily zone. To test daily zone. Did it then touch it? It did. To test what? To test daily zone here. As you can see. They, are, they will be used as a roadblock, as a roadblock. So this is your your entry, your entry. So you your your buys here, your next buys here. Hope you understand. Until you reach what you reach the next zone, you keep buying until you see a clear rejection, a clear rejection, and confirm direction. Then you change direction. You change direction. So this is how to confirm direction using what using support and resistance using support and resistance so this is it for today the next video we will be talking about uh how to make entries in these zones and it will be a longer video and you will understand clearly but the, the most important thing is this repeat this video 
and understand every every single thing I have said. I have said there is a reason for that. There is a reason for that. So make sure you follow us on Telegram. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you share the video. Everything is there inside video description. You will find the links, important links like our Telegram, our Telegram channel is down there. So you can click and join us. So until next time, guys, good luck and good trading.